Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I am showing you how to do the yo-yo masse shots. Uh, now, what a yo-yo masse shot is, it's basically when the cue ball goes up and then comes back towards you, like yo-yo. You drop it down and it comes back up towards you. So it's going to go up around the nine and pocket it into the side. And this is actually a very helpful shot because this situation can come up. <laughs> I apologize for my sniffles. But you cannot make the nine straight down the table into the corner. You cannot make the nine into the side regularly. You can't cut it in. And anywhere you hit on the left side of the nine with the cue ball, you scratch immediately. So this is just not a good place to be in pool and here is a good escape out of it. So we are just going to hit with straight bottom for this shot. Uh, we're going to hit right here on the cue ball. This is our thickness. Imagine our cue ball like this. We're going to hit bam. It's going to be spinning backwards as it goes up and then that backspin will take and it will come back hitting that nine ball anywhere on from here to push it through. Anywhere from here to here will be good. So this is a good uh, shot because of the range of hitting that we can do. So we're just going to hit that straight bottom. We're going to elevate our cue about 85 degrees. And we're going to aim just past the 9 because we want it to come back. We may want to put a little bit of left spin on it, but not too much. Uh, if you put too much left spin on it, it won't come back enough and it'll just curve into this rail right here. But if it curves into that rail, use more backspin and less left spin. Uh, it can be done with no left spin at all, but it's a little bit of left spin should be good. Uh, we're going to aim just past the 9 again, 80, 85 degrees of elevation, straight bottom, follow through through the table, all the way through the cue ball, uh, so you don't mess up your felt. All the marks on my felt you see are from my mass A cue. Uh, hitting really, really, really hard onto the table. So this is not from mass saying regularly. You will not mess up your table uh, if you follow through and complete the stroke correctly. So 80, 85 degrees of elevation, hit hard, aim just past the nine ball with that bottom left, and follow through. Here it is. So now we're going to move to a very common area. Let's say we need to make the two ball, and we are blocked by this nine. Uh, and let's say that we're blocked from the kick, that one rail kick by the four. So we need to go in between the four and the nine, yo-yo, up and around the nine to make the two. So we're going to hit with just straight backspin, maybe a little bit of left again. Uh, it's always going to be a little bit of the spin to the side that you're curving to. We're curving to the left, so we would use a little bit of left. If we wanted to curve to the right, we would use a little bit of right. But it's mostly straight backspin. Uh, and when I was showing you that ball, when I said hit the B, uh, I mean in thickness. So right here is the B. That's how thick we are hitting the cue ball. We're hitting down on there and this following through and accelerating through the shot. For this shot, we're going to aim... Uh, just to miss the four because we want to kind of hit the two ball on its right or I guess its left side from this angle uh, but bottom uh, maybe a little bit of bottom left should get the job done pretty easily again about 80 85 degrees of elevation aiming for about the second diamond on this path uh, if you hit this rail first move your aiming point this direction if you hit the nine. You're elevating too much. Uh, if you curve too quickly, you're elevating too much. If you curve too late, you're not elevating enough. So, basic physics. Uh, not too hard. This is a shot that will come up where you're blocked like this and you need a way to get around the blocker ball. If you do not know any other option, this is definitely the choice for you to learn and you're gonna have to practice this over and over and over again you're not gonna be able to get this down first try every time like after a week of practice uh, it's gonna take a while I've practiced this for two years now 
So, and I still can't make it 100% of the time, but it's become a pretty accurate shot for me, and it can for you as well. Here it is. Now, just for fun, we are going to do the Hustler Massey shot. This was in the movie, The Hustler, uh, based on the name. And Paul Newman, or Fast Eddie Felsen, shot this shot, and it blew up. It's now a global, it's a worldwide known trick shot, uh, and we're going to do it today. So, the goal is to make the floor into the corner. The cue ball is going to come up. Yo yo masse backwards and pocket the nine. So again, we're going to use about that 80, 85 degrees of elevation with bottom left spin this time. And we're going to aim about for this first diamond because this ball will push the cue ball this way a little bit. So we need to aim more to go through it. So bottom left and about 85 degrees of elevation. You should be good to pocket the four and make the nine. You need to hit kind of hard because pocketing the four is tough on this. The mass A slows the four ball down. I'm not exactly sure what physics rule that applies to, but it just does, you can tell. So that that's the hard part, making the four. Making the nine is not too difficult. Uh, if this shot comes up in a match, by all means, you can try it. Uh, just I would focus on making the four more than making the nine. So great, great, great fun shot to learn. Make sure you follow through through the table. As always, we're going to hit about that B thickness as well. With that bottom left, we're going to be about where this one is. Extend this one to about right here. This is where we are hitting on our cue ball. Follow through, make sure you're chalked up so you don't miss cue, and you should be good to make the shot. It's a pretty tough shot. It will require a little bit of practice, but you should be able to get it down. Okay, so for this last shot, let's just say we're trying to make the four. Our cue ball is down here. Nine's blocking, and a couple of blockers like around here. So there's not too many options to go off of here. You you can try like that bank, uh, which is that cake. I mean, which is probably the best option, but let's block it. So now you can't do that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do like a smaller version of the yo-yo shot. Just come in between these balls and curve backwards. Since we're going to the right, we're going to use more right spin this time. I'll show you where we're going to hit. We're going to hit along this bottom right horizontal line right here. This is where we are hitting this horizontal line right here on the IQ. So right here, we're going to aim uh, about where this 11 ball is. We're going to aim about where the 11 ball is. Again, hit that thickness of the B, the thickness of that outer line on the IQ with bottom right. And we're going to use, again, probably a little less elevation for this one since we don't need as much curve. We just kind of need a little bit and then that angle to carry on throughout the shot. So we're going to have to elevate about 75 degrees, I would say, 75 or 80 as opposed to 80 or 85 or 90 as the other shots. Uh, if you want to sit on the rail, you can and like bridge on your hand. If you play in a league where your hand has to be on the table, you can do a tripod bridge. Uh, just make sure you follow through and that you're chalked up because if you're not, you'll miss cue. Um, just trying to stress all of these things to you. But simple shot, uh, not too much to it. Just takes a little bit of practice and here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post it again, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you guys 
are interested in the cue ball that I have been using for this video to show you where I'm hitting. This is the IQ. This is a great tool for repetition. Uh, that is the most important part of pull, repetition, muscle memory. Uh, this is the business card. You can order one from Thomas Van Eck or just go to iqclinic.com if it will focus in on that or you can call this number right here I'm trying to get it to focus. Uh, but you should be able to see that through the camera. IQ, great, great tool to improve your game. Uh, I apologize if I sound like a little tired. It's currently 2.30 in the morning. I'm just trying to grind out these videos. Uh, but if you guys like the consistency, click the like button and comment down below. Let me know if you like the two videos a day, one video a day deal. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for 10,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. And I will see you in the next video.